an official Star Wars app was just released. It's basically trying to be your mobile headquarters for everything Star Wars. You get to pick from three themes, droids, light side, or dark side. I went with the dark side, of course. The first time I opened it, I was really surprised by the animation and visual style of the app. It looks really good. The latest news ticker constantly updates. There's a countdown to The Force Awakens in Episode 8 as of right now. There's a little This Day in Star Wars History animation, and today it looks like in 1999, The Phantom Menace was released in Japan. Yippee skippy. There's an animated GIF section of the app, which at first I completely dismissed until I clicked one of the GIFs and realized that it automatically copied it to my phone's clipboard. So if Jeff is drunk and texts me some nonsense, I can text him back a GIF of Han Solo saying, what are you talking about? The GIFs are labeled under different emotions. And if you scroll to the side under each category, there are a lot more GIFs than you can see right off the bat. So the feature that I was so quick to dismiss actually turned out to be one of my favorite features. Some other sections of the app include official videos, which is basically the same video page as StarWars.com and the official Star Wars YouTube page. Then you have a little game called Force Trainer, which is kind of neat. It uses your camera to put a training remote in the real world. Your device becomes the lightsaber and you have to tilt your phone to block the incoming lasers. This offered me about five minutes of fun and then I was over it. I kept feeling like I was going to drop my phone. I have an iPhone 6 Plus and I almost think that anything smaller than that would be too small to have fun playing this game. Maybe not though. Let me know how it works on smaller devices in the comment section below. Now the soundboard. I know you can find catalogs of Star Wars sound effects all across the internet, but I really wish I could take the sound effects on the app and put them on my computer to actually use them in a future video. And then there's the selfie feature, which is actually pretty fun. There are different backgrounds, different characters you can put your face in. It's literally the same exact thing that you see in old dingy tourist towns where they have those take a picture with a celebrity booths and just green screen your face next to Tom Cruise or Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The augmented reality feature is kind of cool. So you scan a poster and if you're not next to the poster, I don't know where they have these posters, maybe at Disney World? Just go on the internet and find the poster image and point your phone at it. It might just be because I was sitting down at a computer with a lot of stuff around, I'm not too sure how it works, but the characters glitched around quite a bit. But augmented reality is really cool technology and I can see how in the future it will be put to uses that we can't even imagine today. But as for it being used in the app, it's not a feature I'll really ever open up again, honestly. And that's about it. It's a neat little app, but the only features I would use long term are the official news feed and maybe the GIFs. The homepage is cool because of the history ticker and the movie countdowns. Other than that, I personally won't use anything else. And I don't know if I can justify leaving it on my phone taking up space. It's definitely worth checking out and giving it a download for yourself. You, you should definitely do that. Take a few selfies, play around in the Force Trainer, test out the augmented reality feature. But for me at least, there's not much replay value in this app. Let me know what you guys think of the official Star Wars app in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to hear the latest Star Wars news. Hello Greedo, out. Always with you at Connect Be Done.